Hey guys, so it is the day before we fly out to America and um, I am just crazily doing the last little bits of packing. I'm still gonna have to do a lot more tonight as well. Um, most of my stuff is packed up, but obviously with kids, they still need changes of clothes and a couple of toys and things like that. So I can't pack absolutely everything until tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna be getting up earlier tomorrow morning than the kids so I can get myself organized and then get them up, get them fed, pack the rest of the stuff. It's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna vlog as much as I can, but I thought that I would show you um, what I'm packing in our hand luggage. It's a long haul flight, so I wanna be like extra, 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 triply like prepared. So um, I just have everything that I think that I'll need just in case because we've got a 13 hour flight from Brisbane to LA and then we've got a four hour layover in LA. We were originally gonna stop over in Canada but the layover was only like an hour and a half and I was worried that going through customs and immigration would take longer than that and with kids I just didn't wanna risk missing our connecting flight. So we went through LA, four hours in LA, and then another three and a half or four hour flight to Chicago. So um, I just need to be prepared for every what if under the sun. So this is what um, I am going to be packing. So this is just like my first aid that I'm gonna have. So I take a bunch of essential oils because essential oils are life and I literally couldn't live without them. And there's an oil for everything. So literally I have just the most common essential oils that I think that we'll need or might need. And then I have, so I've just, I've been using snap locks just so I'm not taking the big bulky like bottles of pills and stuff. So in here I just have some capsules of lysine and um, some tablets of vitamin C and magnesium. And that's for my sister and I just to keep our immune systems supported and healthy and strong on a flight with uh, lots of germs and then of course um, the magnesium is good for like restless legs and to help just calm your body and stuff like that so it's good for sleep. I've also got oils for sleep as well and um, okay now I've got this which is colloidal silver but it's in a nasal spray so that's really good if we get like congested sinuses and then I have saline for the girls for their little noses and then I have this lavender mist um, spray which is a really nice just calming cooling mist eardrops, oops, eardrops, rescue remedy, some echinacea just in case, some, this is like a natural herbal cold and cough relief I just got from Flannery's and um, yeah, so if they, um, you know, do start coughing or anything like that, then I can give them that. I've got tiny cold tablets, teething tablets, and then I've also got Camilla, Camilla sorry, which is a homeopathic teething liquid which works wonders by the way and um, that so whenever Haven's teething I usually use that and then just a thermometer as well just to be safe so that's what I've got for first aid so for the rest of our carry-on um, this is our passport case we've got our passports in here I have diapers wipes some pull-ups for Caprice um, I use disposables um, for a flight like this like this is a long haul flight so I'm not going to be using uh, reusables they're just way too much and um, of course they um, take up too much room as well um, and then I have two sets of spare clothes for both the girls so they'll be wearing different ones and these are their spares I have spare clothes and underwear for me some socks um, oh, that's some deodorant and stuff um, I just have some snacks here so I've got some things like these organic little rice cakes that are like flavored with this is flavored with blueberry um, and purple carrot and then this is flavored with carrot and apple and they they don't contain any like nasties in them which is good and then um, I have some other stuff in here which are like veggie chips made out of carrots and I think I have some made out of beetroot as well and then some like dried strawberries and stuff so that this is like the most packet food that my children will ever get is on this flight but um, it's good to have like lots of options for snacks <laughs> oh, it's the last night in Australia the last night at my parents house the last night with my family hey family hey and bye mm. yeah so I'm just making some food for the girls for dinner and that's also what they're going to eat on the plane tomorrow. So I'm making my cheesy pasta. Mm. Oh. 
baby boy. You're so beautiful. Stop oh, talking. Isn't he pretty? I love In the water as usual. It's a bit dirty. <laughs> Last supper. Last supper. Oh, Look at how delicious. Go it's hug it. it. The girls have some cheesy pasta. That's mine here. And Caprice also has some soba noodle salad and some coleslaw. <gasps> Mum, that's it. bad filming. I know. Mm, it's okay. And then we've got some rice. Ooh, some right. Wait, put the light on. Some coleslaw. Nice. And some mango and avocado soba noodle salad. Soba noodle? So, soba, soba noodle salad. Yes. Yeah, what the, accent was that? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? No, hey, Ben. Are you enjoying it? Really yeah. no, cool. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Oh, you look like you're enjoying it. Are you sure? <laughs> it's the last night. Um, but you're coming with us, so it's okay. But it's the last night with all of us. I know. Me. Oh, my mummy. Oh, Tash, you, come mama. get in it. Okay. Mm. Do another one. You can just cut this part out. Okay, ready? Oh. The last night with all of us. I was going to say Lockhart girls, but you're not a Lockhart anymore. Well, at heart, I'm a Lockhart girl. Very sad. Oh. Rude. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And everybody, it's Beck's birthday in six days. Woo! So, everybody now. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> in America. Oh my lord. Did you say no more hoorays? No, no, hip, no hip hip hoorays. No hip hip hoorays. Just happy birthday to you. No, but, no, 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 no. But she also gets um, happy, happy birthday, happy to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. And it goes on and on. And we can having some breakfast and I'm just doing last minute packing and then we'll say our goodbyes and the transfer car gets here at 7 a.m. Um, and then we'll head to the airport all right we're rushing the transfer is here and I forgot to um, show you what I ate for breakfast but my sister made some scrambled tofu so I had that on a piece of toast with avocado and the transfer guy is putting all our bags in the car and we're going to say our goodbyes and then we'll be heading to the airport.
you. Say, I love you, Papa. Freaking out. My sister's Esther hasn't gone through yet. It's still pending because the Esther system is down. They can't check her in without that, that Esther visa waiver program thing to get into America. So I think I might be doing this flight alone with the two kids, with all the luggage. I'm stressing out. We are, we are at the gate waiting to board. It is just the three of us because Brittany could not get her Esther. The system was down and the American government doesn't allow you to even check in with an airline um, unless it's gone through and approved and it, and it was in a pending mode. So we're doing this alone, aren't we? It's gonna yeah. be tough, but you're gonna be a good girl for me, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Haven. Haven hopefully will be too. Yeah. Say hi, Haven. Say hi. All right. Okay, look. Look at the camera. We're on the plane. It's probably the silver lining to not having my sister with me. We get an extra seat, so Haven has one. Say hi. Haven, say hi. She's digging into her pasta. Hi. <laughs> Is this our new home? Yes. 
where where are we going to live? Chicago. Chicago, yeah. We did it. We did it. She wants you to do that, baby. <laughs> hey, so we're sitting in LAX. Absolutely exhausted. Um, we, I had to get rid of all the food that we didn't eat before coming off the plane because going through customs, you're not allowed to bring food through. So we're stuck with like no food. I had to go to this little place in the terminal. There's very limited options, like there's Burger King and then this little place that I went to that has, it had like these um, juice smoothie things which were literally just made from, fu bleh, from fruit puree. Um, and then there was a cucumber and melon salad. So I got that, but we're going to need something more before the flight. Well, not me personally, because I can hold out, but the girls will. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Kind of stuck at the moment. We are nearly at Chicago. We're nearly at Chicago. What does that mean? Who are we going to see? Who are we going to see when we get to Chicago? No, who are we going to see when we get to Chicago? Daddy. Today, since we said goodbye to daddy and he left for work and now we're going to see 